What's up everybody and welcome back to another math puzzle and in this one we are asked the question of how do you measure exactly 15 minutes when you just have two timers one that measures seven minutes and one that measures 11 minutes and remember we're talking about getting exactly 15 minutes so we don't want to estimate quantities and say well okay maybe it's about half of this timer about half of that timer is going to get me roughly to 15 minutes I want to know how we can get exactly 15 minutes go Go ahead and hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. All right, so I'm gonna take you through my method of solving this, my method of getting 15 minutes. And by the way, there could be other solutions. So just take this with a grain of salt. So here we go, we've got the two timers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by flipping both timers over simultaneously. So we're gonna set, let them both run the course. And now first one's gonna reach the bottom and that's gonna occur at seven minutes, right? But what's interesting to note is, yeah, that one's run out. But how much sand do I have left in that 11 minute timer? I've got four minutes left okay so now I'm not gonna do anything with the 11 minute timer but I'm gonna reset the seven minute timer okay so I'm gonna flip that one upside down so now again I still got that four minutes remaining in the 11 minute timer the seven minute timer is gonna start over fresh okay so we're gonna let that run its course and now at this point those those four minutes have passed and now we're at a total of 11 minutes of course but what's really interesting is what I have going on in the seven minute timer because four minutes has just elapsed which means I've got three minutes left up top there and four minutes worth of sand in the bottom okay now I only need four minutes left to get to that 15 minutes so what do I do I leave the 11 minute one alone that one's done and I flip the seven minute timer over boom and now I place that three minutes on the bottom but the four minutes worth of sand on the top and I let that run its course and we are at that total of exactly 15 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this math puzzle, and if you did, please click that like button. If you wanna see more from the Math Puzzles channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you so much for joining, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.